Hello guys, my name is Ritesh Bhanushali and I welcome you all in my new YouTube channel, The Notebook. You will be taught here algorithms and coding techniques. So, the benefit of this new YouTube channel will be available to both technical student as well as working professional. We will start with the topic of algorithm and then break each topic down into its own series. In the middle of each video, we will also provide you with notes, such as it is important to remember that at the end of each series, you will need to make a notebook for each topic. So let's get started. We will start with the sorting techniques and our first topic is bubble sort. So what is bubble sort? It is used to sort an array or a list. Array and a list are a structure in a programming language. So basically it is used to sort array and a list. It is also frequently asked question in an interview room. What bubble sort says? Pairwise if all the elements in the array are in a correct relative position, then we assume that all the elements are sorted. What does it mean? Suppose consider we have an example of an array 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, Now suppose we are going in ascending order. Now if we compare pairwise 10 and 20, since 10 is less than 20, 10 is on left side and 20 is greater than 10, so 20 is on right side. So we assume that 10 on its correct relative position and 20 is also on its correct relative position. We will do same thing with 20 and 30 and 30 and 40 and 40 and 50. Now doing so we will come to know that all the elements in the array are in its correct relative position. So we consider this array as a sorted array. Let's understand this algorithm. We have function name bubble sort. We are passing two parameters. First is array and second is n size of array. We are using three variables wrapped i and j. We are also using nested for loop in this algorithm. First for loop is used to perform iteration. Second for loop is used to perform the check between the pair of elements. Let's consider this example. We have array with elements 70, 10, 20, and 30. What is the size of array? n is equals to 4. Uh, now we come at this statement. One first for loop where value of i start from 0 and first for loop will run till i is less than n that is 4. Now we'll check 0 is less than 4. Yes will comes under the first for loop will make value of wrapped as 0 now second for loop starts with j is equals to 0 and it it will run till j should be less than 4 minus i minus 1 that is 0 minus 1 value of i is 0 value of n is 4 minus 1 which is 3 so j is less than 3 j will run till third element so we'll check the condition 0 is less than 3 yes will comes under the nested for loop will perform the condition checks over here a of 0 which is 70 which is greater than is greater than a of 1 which is 10 yes the condition got satisfied so we'll perform the swap between a of 0 and a of 1 so a of 0 is 70 and a of 1 is 10. So 10 goes to the left hand side, 70 goes to the right hand side, 20 and 30. Now value of swapped is become 1 and value of j is getting incremented to 1. Now again we'll do the condition check here. 1 is less than 3, yes. Now comes under the nested for loop. Now we'll also perf again perform the condition checks if a of 1 is greater than a of 2. Yes, 70 is greater than 20. 
we will again perform the swapping 20 goes to the left hand side 70 goes to the right hand side and 30 now we will again increment j by 2 and swap is again 1 now again we will check the condition 2 is less than 3 yes now again we will check the if condition a of 2 is greater than a of 3 yes 70 is greater than 3 so we will get a array like this again we will perform the swapping between 70 and 30 30 goes to the left hand side 70 goes to the right hand side now swap becomes 1 and value of j becomes 3 so 3 is less than 3 no therefore nested for loop gets terminated we will again perform this conditionals check swap is equals to 0 no value of swap is 1 we will not break the outer loop and when we will increment i by 1 we will again check this condition 1 is less than 4 yes now we will make swapped as 0 and we will again make j as a 0 now one thing we need to note that after each iteration the largest element comes at the end of the array so largest element comes like a bubble like largest element comes at the end like a bubble that's why this algorithm is also called as bubble sort so in each iteration largest element comes like a bubble at the end so the name is bubble sort now when we go to the nested for loop once again the j will start from 0 and j will run till n minus 1 minus 1 that is 2 value of n is 4 minus 1 minus 1 that is 2 so j will run till second element so then in next iteration we will only perform check till second element now if now we will again check a of 0 is 10 and a of 1 so 10 is greater than 20 no we will not perform swap nor will change the value of swap ok again we will increment j by 1 we will check 1 is greater than a of 1 is greater than a of 2 no so we will not perform any swap we will not give assign value to swapped variable again we will increment j by 2 now again we will check the condition 2 is less than 2 no uh, we terminate the nested for loop here now we will perform the if condition here if swap is equals to 0 just yes, swap is equals to 0 then break the outer loop so this is the reason why we have used swapped if we have not used swap if we should not use swap then this for loop will get continue till the size of this array which is meaningless so this gives us an optimum solution so at the end of the algorithm we will get sorted array as 10 20 30 and 70